In this video, the master instructors from BEST will demonstrate the process used to complete the installation of a small outline integrated circuit component. In this video, the instructors will be using an SOIC with flat gullwing leads for surface mounting. Be sure to note the orientation markings on the component. Some components have a small dot or indentation adjacent to pin 1. Some components may have a beveled edge, indicating the side on which pin 1 is located. Clean the area where the component will be mounted. Note the orientation marking on the circuit board and align the component with the correct orientation. Apply flux to the component and board LAN to help facilitate the solder connection. Use a small amount of solder on the soldering iron tip to tack solder one lead to the board. This will hold the component in position. Reposition the board so that there is access to the other side of the component and verify that the component has remained in position. Apply flux and tack an additional lead. Apply flux to the whole row of leads. In this demonstration, the instructor is using the point-to-point -point method of soldering. The small diameter solder is placed at the tip of the lead, and the iron is used to touch the land, the solder, and the toe of the lead at the same time. Be sure to allow enough time on the solder connection for the solder to flow all the way to the heel of the lead, creating a solid heel fillet. Reposition the board again, apply flux, and solder the remaining leads. On this second side, the instructor is using another point-to-point -point method. Instead of placing the solder on the land, the solder is placed on the top of the lead foot. Using a gentle sweeping motion, the iron is moved from the top of the lead toward the toe and land, allowing the solder to flow over the lead and the land. After the solder has solidified, use a stiff bristle brush and an appropriate cleaning solvent to remove any remaining flux residue, flux, or other contaminants. Wipe the area clean with a lint-free wipe and then inspect according to the IPCA 610. The IPCA 610 groups electronic assemblies into three classes. These classes are based on the intended end-use environment for the assembly. Class 1, General Electronic Products, are those where the major requirement is that the assembly is functional. Class 2, Dedicated Service Products, are assemblies where continued performance and extended life are desired, but not critical. Typically, the end-use environment would not cause failures. Class 3, High Performance or Harsh Environment Products, are assemblies in which high performance and performance on demand are critical. Downtime cannot be tolerated, or the extreme environment may be uncommonly harsh. IPC Class 3 criteria for high reliability and harsh environment assemblies states that the soldered connection must have, as a minimum, an end joint fillet at least 75% the lead width. If the foot of the lead is less than three times the width, the connection must be soldered 100% along the sides of the leads. If the lead is greater than or equal to three times the lead width, then a minimum of 75% or three times the lead width, whichever is longer, must be soldered along the side of the leads. At a minimum, the heel fillet must be equal to the solder thickness under the lead plus the full thickness of the lead foot. In the case of a small profile SOIC family component, the solder can climb the lead all the way to the knee of the component and it can touch the component body. Visit and follow us on our YouTube channel, Soldering Geek, for more videos. For training classes, supplies, and more, visit our website, www.solder.net.